Hello, hello, happy Saturday, day three. Here we are, we are going to do another AM or AP because it is efficient, it can, you can make it as hard as you want, no matter what level you are, there is a way to make it perfect for you. So today we do have six exercises yet again. This time we are going to be doing a squat hold with a back tap of the foot. Now, I know that some trainers have done this standing, holding on to a ledge, core is strong, you can tap back. There are other ways to do this. If you need some suggestions, you can send me an email. However, try it out. Pretty much everybody can do this one. So we will show you what that is. It's gonna be 12 reps on each side, so 24 total. Then we are going to do a towel row. So you wanna make sure you have a towel or some sort of band to use for this exercise. We're gonna be doing 12 rows. Then we've got a ball squeeze twist. We will be sitting on a chair if needed with a ball or something. You can use a pillow, you can use anything that you just wanna squeeze. Just kidding, that's awkward. You know, we're losing our minds on this little quarantine we got going on. But grab something, you wanna squeeze it. We're gonna do a little bit of a rotational twist, okay? So you need a towel, you need a ball. Next up after that, we're going to be coming down to the ground, towel, mat, whatever you've got. We're going to be doing some bird dogs. Then we are going to be doing figure four bridge. I know some of you do love those so much. Looking at you, Marsha. Next up, side plank. That is going to be our big finale. Side plank, 30 seconds on each side. Option for a thread the needle. So we will be going through that today. Now, of course, if there's anything that does not feel right, back off. I will be showing you some modifications you can do throughout. If you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. But here we are. I'm going to go through the first round with you so you can see what it is we're looking at, what to expect, how to modify all of it. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, squat hold with a tap back. Again, I am pretty sore from the other day, so bear with me. Let's go ahead and you want to have your legs together. Zip them up as if you have one leg. Send those hips back behind. Now, I'm going to show you in a pretty deep position. It doesn't have to be deep for it to be effective. As long as your weight is in the heel of the foot, you feel the glute activate on that standing leg, you should be good to go, okay? So, a little bit of a squat. Squeeze those thighs together. Hips go back. Abs are engaged to support the back. Again, if you need to hold on to a counter or something to make sure you can send those hips back, feel free to do so. Shift your weight to that left heel. That right leg is going to tap back, forward, back, forward. No weight goes on that right foot. All the weight is in that left heel. Core is on to stabilize. A little bit of balance in there too. You want 12 on each side. There's 11. 12, I made that up. I think that is 12 on each. I think that was 12, I'm not sure. Other side. Legs move together, send those hips back, tap back, forward. Weight is in that standing heel. You're gonna feel the quad, you're gonna feel the glutes. I think this is eight, 12. Woo! So, 12 on each side, 24. Gotta make sure you even it out. You wanna grab the towel on either side. Pull it apart so that your arms are parallel to your shoulders, okay? Shoulders roll back and down. You want to make sure these hands stay nice and low. Move back so you can see me. Row it back, row it back. Two counts, forward for two. Take it back for two, forward. Twelve like this. Here's ten. Nine. Make sure you have maintain a good pull. Eight. Nice top towel. <laughs> Seven. Woo! Here's six. Keep that core strong the whole time. Shoulders down. Five. This is strangely effective. Four. Really actually quite challenging. Three. Oh. Two. And one. Finish it through. Ha! Ah, so you want to make sure you maintain a pull, an active pull apart on that towel as you grow. You will feel a little bit of the rear delt. If you have any shoulder issues, then don't pull as hard, but make sure that you keep those arms parallel, okay? 12 of those. Next up, we've got a ball squeeze 
with a twist. So, you do want to sit down if needed. You can grab a ball or a pillow, like I said, or whatever it may be. Sitting up nice and tall, squeeze that ball, shoulder the shoulders back and down. Maintain a really good squeeze. If you don't have a ball or anything, you can bring your fists together, palms together, whatever it may be, okay? Squeeze the palms together so you really feel the core activate. Now we will feel the chest a bit. That's normal. You want to feel the core. Take it to the right, two counts, back to center. For two, other side. Two counts, center, for two. Now the secret to this is to keep the core squeezed the whole time. Maintain the squeeze on that ball or pump or whatever it is that you're holding. Nice, slow, and controlled. Notice how I'm not rounded. Ready? Keep it out of the back. Breathe. The entire team, the entire side, the navel draws back towards the spine. So you want to get one, two. Okay, nice, slow, and controlled. Twelve reps. You want to come down to your hands and knees, okay? Hands are directly beneath the shoulders. Make sure the fingers are spread nice and wide so you can take some of the tension off the wrist and more so into the palms. Roll the shoulders back and down. Hands are beneath the shoulders, knees directly beneath the hips. Abs are pulled in. Booty is lightly squeezed. Now, before we do anything, you want to make sure your core is active. Okay, navel drawn in. You are bracing without even doing anything. Now to get started, we'll take one leg, reach it back, reach, 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 bring it back, set it down, other side, reach, 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 and down. Now notice how I'm not arching my back, I'm not lifting up towards the ceiling. You want to reach for the leg, bring it in, leg, bring it in, push the booty, keeping the core nice and strong. If this is easy for you, opposite arm comes up, and switch. If you want to add even more, extend opposite arm and leg, bring the elbow towards the knee, squeeze the core really round into the deep of elbows, reach again, come on down, other side, reach, elbow to knee, reach, and down. You want to make sure you do 12 on each side, whichever option, however challenging you want to make that, go ahead. If you need additional modifications for whatever reason, don't hesitate to reach out, okay? Next up, figure four bridge. So laying on your back. Lay all the way back, your feet are planted flat on the mat. Let's take one leg, create that figure four. Hands on the hip bones, we're aware of what's happening in those hips. Drive that heel down, squeeze the booty lift for two counts. Lower down, tap the mat for two counts. Bring it up. Squeeze the booty, take it right back down, just tap the mat, take it up. Squeeze, down, and up. And you want to get 12 on this side. Hands are on the hips to make sure that you don't allow this hip to drop. That will go into the back. You want to keep it level. Make sure that that standing leg, that working leg, is truly squeezing into that booty, okay? When you're done, switch. You're going to do 12 on the other side. Squeeze the booty, then up. Two counts, lower down. For two. Nice, slow, and controlled so you know exactly what muscles are working because you're focusing on them. Keeping the core squeezed, keeping the booty squeezed. Drive that heel down. Make sure you're breathing. Keeping those hips nice and level. 12 on each side. Last but not least, finishing off with a side plank. 30 second hold on each side. Now, when getting into a side plank, I do recommend doing it from your forearm just because all of that tension in one hand can be a lot for the wrist, okay? So come on down, forearm down on the mat, elbow directly beneath the shoulder. You can do bent legs, so it's knees, hips, and shoulders in one line. You can do straight leg, stagger feet, whatever works for you. When you're ready, lift on up, hold. 30 seconds. You have the option here to lift, lift, Focusing on that upward motion. If you want more of a challenge, bring that arm up. We're going to do 12 front the needles. Here's one. Reach, lift. Two. Reach, lift. Three. Reach, lift. Four. And so on, and so forth. One more of you. 
and make you watch me plank the whole time. But you'll do swell on each side. Okay? Again, if the side plank is not feeling like it's in the cards for you today, go ahead and do a forearm plank. Just a hold that is fine. If you need to do it from a chair, from a bench, from wherever, don't hesitate to do it. So again, that is one round. So again, we have the squeeze of the booty, holding that squat, tap the legs back, 12 on each side, towel row, it's gonna be awesome, you're really gonna feel that one. Next up, we've got the ball squeeze twist. It could be a pillow, it could be your palms, it could be whatever it is that you have, really focusing in on the core. Next up, bird dog, opposite arm leg reach, option for the elbow knee tap. Lastly, almost lastly, second to lastly, figure four bridge, one leg, Crossed over, squeeze lift, 12 on each side. Last but not least, side plank. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Please take a photo, send it to the studio email or post it on Facebook, share it with us somehow so we know that you are getting your workouts in. We would love to see them. We'd love to check in with you. We miss you guys so much and we cannot wait to open our doors again and get the ball rolling. But until then, you're stuck with me. You're stuck with these videos. We're gonna keep you moving. And hopefully soon, I'll be able to coordinate with some of the trainers and figure out how we can make this work where we all stay safe and healthy. So have a good day. I believe I said it was Saturday. Happy Saturday. And we will check in soon. All right. Love you. Bye.